Did you know we might soon watch the universe expand in real time? Let me explain. Right now, astronomers use indirect methods of measuring how fast the universe is growing, like exploding stars or certain patterns in the early universe. But that all consists of looking back in time. And so we're going to look at something known as the Extremely Large Telescope, or ELT, currently being built in Chile. And once it's done, it's going to be able to detect something known as a redshift drift. And this means watching the light from distant objects, like galaxies, shift ever so slightly. Now, unlike other methods that rely on the assumptions um, of standard candles, like specific supernovae, redshift drift <laughs> directly tracks the evolving expansion of the universe. So it's kind of like seeing the universe breathe. Redshift drift, or also known as the Sandage Lobe Test, is a way to directly measure how the universe's expansion is changing over time. Now, normally when a galaxy moves away from us due to a cosmic expansion, it's like stretches, but it's called a redshift. But if the rate of expansion itself is changing, accelerating due to, say, dark energy, then a galaxy's redshift should also slowly change over time. And that tiny shift is the redshift drift. <laughs> it's incredibly small, just a few centimeters per second per year. So detecting it requires ultra precise instruments like the extremely large telescope and decades of observation. So by the 2040s or 50s, we might finally be able to see whether dark energy is constant or changing, whether Einstein's theory still holds or needs rewriting. And maybe we can actually start to watch the expansion of the universe in real time.